Hi, it's Paul, W2PAK. I am so excited about today's video. I've been wondering for a while now if the tides affect my vertical antenna's SWR. My antenna is a 6BTV vertical mounted on my dock over salt water. So it's the perfect setup to test this question. I've been keeping an eye on my SWR and signal reports, but honestly, I haven't noticed much change with the tides. If you haven't seen the video on how I mounted my antenna on the dock, then check it out at the end of this video. I'll place a link. Let's head to the shack and start this experiment. For this experiment, I'll be using the Rig Expert AA230 Antenna Analyzer. This handy device connects to my computer via USB, and I'll be using the Rig Experts and 2 Scope software to gather the data. To get a complete picture, I'll be scanning the entire ham band, taking 2,000 SWR readings each time. We'll scan at low tide and run the scans about six hours until we reach high tide. After that, I'll pour over the data in Excel to see what kind of patterns emerge. We'll start with data collection. This is a time lapse of the tide versus SWR. At first glance, it looks like there is some minor changes in SWR. Well, that was a fun little time lapse, but let's look at the data more in depth. This is the 80 meter band. You'll see there are not many points here, and the reason is it's only 100 kilohertz. The 6BTV is very narrow in the 80 meter band. Uh, not much difference in tides uh, versus uh, SWR. Going to the 40 meter band, now we have a little bit of variation. Um, it's pretty clustered until we get to the low tide. The low tide has a lower frequency in terms of the minimum. And also the minimum is a little higher, but not by a lot. It's uh, what, like one to 1.15 to about one to 1.22 or so. Moving on to the 30 meter band, you'll see that uh, also this is a narrow band uh, just by nature. And um, it is also very similar, I would say, to the uh, 40 meter band. The low tide is a little higher in SWR and also a little lower in frequency. Let's go on to the 20 meter band. The 20 meter band is much different, isn't it? Um, so the low tide actually has lower SWR but also maybe a little lower frequency. But overall, again, not much change overall, but there is some variation. Let's go to the 15 meter band. About the same, the low tide is a little higher in SWR and maybe a little lower frequency in SWR. But overall, again, not much of a big difference. And finally, the 10 meter band. The 10 meter band shows very similar pattern. Low tide is lower in frequency and a little worse in SWR. Well, based on this experiment, it seems like the SWR does change, but only a little. While this experiment provides some interesting data, further testing under different conditions would be needed to draw more definitive conclusions. If you have done similar experiments or you have any comments, please share them in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And don't forget, Please subscribe for more content. 73, my friends.